Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious homemade red velvet pound cake. This recipe calls for about 20 individual servings of pound cake. Not only is this cake fluffy, moist, and full of flavor, but it is absolutely delicious. Now I have two other recipes for red velvet cake. I have a two layer red velvet cake and I have another recipe for red velvet cupcakes. You can find the links to those videos in the description box. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Here is all what you will need to make your red velvet pound cake. And we're going to get started with our ingredients. You will need some all-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, unsweetened cocoa powder, unsalted butter at room temperature, canola oil, three large eggs at room temperature, buttermilk at room temperature, whole milk at room temperature, vanilla extract, vinegar, red gel paste food coloring, and some confectioner sugar. And I forgot to mention that you will need eight ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. To bake your red velvet pound cake, you will need some Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray and a Nordic Ware anniversary bun pan. And there we have it. We're going to start by adding two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one fourth cup of cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Sift all ingredients into a large bowl. Give this a quick stir. In our stand mixer with a paddle attachment, add one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, one fourth cup of canola oil, and two cups of sugar. Start your mixer on a medium low speed just to get that butter, oil, and sugar incorporated. Then turn your mixer up to the highest setting Mix this on high speed for 4 minutes. At some point during those 4 minutes, you're going to stop your mixer and scrape down the sides of your bowl. And you're going to continue mixing that in. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. We're going to add three large eggs at room temperature in one at a time. Start your mixer on a medium speed and add the eggs in. After we added the third and final egg, add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mix this until it's combined. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Here we have one cup of buttermilk into a measuring cup. Add one tablespoon of gel paste, red food coloring. I'm going to take a wire whisk and I'm going to combine both ingredients together. As you can see, that's a nice bright red color. Spray your burnt pan with non-stick baking spray and preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Add one cup of your all-purpose flour mixture and one third cup of your buttermilk mixture. 
Mix ingredients on a medium speed until combined. Add one cup of your all-purpose flour mixture and one third cup of your buttermilk mixture. Mix on a medium speed until combined. Add a half a cup of your all-purpose flour mixture and one third cup of your buttermilk mixture. Mix all ingredients on a medium speed until combined. Now for the secret step. Add one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of vinegar. Give this a quick stir. Add your vinegar and baking soda into your cake batter. Mix this on a medium speed for about 30 seconds. And our red velvet cake batter is now ready. Add your prepared red velvet cake batter into your bunt pan. Using the back of a spoon, spread your cake batter around your pan as evenly as possible. To make the batter more even, shake your pan slightly and also tap it onto your table. Now it is ready to be baked. Place into a preheated 325 degree oven. Bake for one hour and 10 minutes. Remove your red velvet pound cake out of the oven after baking on 325 degrees for 1 hour and 10 minutes. Toothpick inserted into the cake should come out clean. Let the cake cool completely before flipping. Now let's make the icing. Add 1 1 fourth cup of confectioner sugar, 3 tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, 3 tablespoons of warm whole milk, two ounces of cream cheese softened and at room temperature, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Stir all ingredients together until the mixture is creamy and smooth. And this is how it looks when we're done. Pour your icing on top of your cake Let this sit for about 15 minutes before serving. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it. Red Velvet Pound Cake. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes as well as contact me or donate to the channel. Visit www.charlycookandrews.com You can also like, follow, or contact me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Now it's time for Charlie's taste test.
Man, the cake is soft, fluffy, moist with a tender crumb. You can, it has a mild chocolate flavor and you can also taste that cream cheese icing. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Give the recipe a try. You're going to love it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. So until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.